Together, we can. And that is how your Sunday evenings are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. An amazing one at that. Welcome to the Upside Down Show on City TV. Proudly brought to you by Vodafone Ghana. Together, we, we can. can. My name is Premier Dinyami. And most definitely mine is Nana Tufo. We promise you but nothing but the best exciting moments right here on the show, on this TV. Of course, the musical lunatics are here. And guess what? It's about to get electrified. You know, I think we should feel their presence <laughs> one more time. Yeah, Musical I think we should. I mean. <laughs> Do it for us. <laughs> It definitely is going to be a fun evening. All right, people, so we are going to have an amazing show tonight. Trust us. You know how we do it. Mm -hmm. Just grab something that will really make you comfortable. Yep. Relax right after this break. We got a show. Coming up on the Upside Down Show, we have a conversation with Ace Media personality, fashion designer and creator of 1957 by K.O.D. Kofi Ochidako K.O.D. joins us on the show as he talks about fashion, family, music and the industry on the show. Welcome back, beautiful people. It promises to be exciting. It promises to be interesting. Most definitely it's going to be very, very, very informative as well. Of course, because when you have, you know, the life of every party, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it can only get better. Yeah. You know, this gentleman is one that, I mean, wherever he is, there's action. Yeah. You know, and I love the fact that he's just so versatile. He decides to do this. He put you himself. Have, you have no idea the kind of stuff this man can do. <laughs> you know, so, so all this while that I've known him, he's been um, a broadcaster, mm -hmm. and then he decided to, you know, do some music, mm -hmm. you know, managing people, yeah. and then now he wants to do fashion. Somewhere along the line, he did some movie acting as well. He's done acting, mm -hmm. you know, and then he married, and he got beautiful uh, kids. You oh know, yeah, those kids are lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is one man that needs no introduction. Mm -hmm. He is a fashionista, an amazing husband. He is a fantastic father as well Definitely. and an accomplished broadcaster. Please help us welcome our guest, Kofi Otredako, the KOD himself. But welcome here in white. Um, I don't know because you knew I was coming. Well, Come to think of it, all of us. All exactly. Of us, yes. so, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's that kind of sunshine I bring. There's no sunshine when I'm gone. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Uh, the more I yell, TV's on. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Don't we just love There's you? There's no sunshine when I'm gone. 
Are you watching CT now? Uh -huh. The is in the house. In the yeah. You're such a vibe, man. You're such a vibe. Of course. It's great to see you. Yeah, great to see you too. Great to see you, Nana. Why are you like this? You know, you are KOD. Yeah, we can't have yeah. any other. You, you don't look like anybody. You don't imitate anybody. We actually anybody. don't want you in any other form. Exactly. <laughs> you are KOD. My mother, if we're alive, wouldn't, wouldn't have loved to hear that at all. No, right? yeah, 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 mothers yeah. want their sons in a particular know, in a certain, way. In a certain yeah. way, yeah. But ever since we've known you, you've been KOD. Yes. Yeah. Tell us about you. <sighs> what Who do I say about you? myself? Very... Um, down to earth person, if you know me, mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes from a distance we have different perceptions yeah. of people. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I think from um, um, up close, I'm, I'm very down to earth, very grounded based on how I was raised, mm -hmm. you know. Um, simple man who worked in the Ghana prison service, rose to become director of prisons. Uh, uh, my mother, who wasn't too lettered, mm -hmm. you know, but then was very instrumental in establishing uh, an institution like the. Um, 31st December Women's Movement in mm. itself, and then the um, um, uh, what do you call it, nursery yeah, in the okay. garden, yeah. and also um, empowered quite a number of women in terms right. of baking. Mm. You know, many years later, when my father retired, um, she established the school, you know, Garden of Eden School yeah. in, in, in Dome, Taifa. Oh. Um, that was my background, mm. you know, last out of um, seven siblings. Oh, wow. You know, um, so much fun because the the age difference between the last one before mm -hmm. <laughs> before I was born the age difference is about eleven years. Oh wow! So I was like their last baby. Yeah, uh, well, mistake. Hopefully, pension I think so. Pension baby. <laughs> yeah, and at that time my father had um, gone back to school and you know was a lot more enlightened. Okay. And um, I'm the only one who has like two English names that quite a number of people don't know. Oh so sure, yeah. you have Richard a... Churchill. Are you kidding me? You yeah. sound so English. Yeah, I know. Whoa. It is. Wow, <laughs> I understand why you act the way you do. Yeah, and now I'm looking at you with your hat on and your eyes crossed. Right? And know, I'm here, Richard Churchill, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Some vital, yeah, some sex. Names do have you know? effect. I know they Absolutely. do. Absolutely. They do. They do. But, but tell us about you know your childhood. What do you remember going to school? Yeah. Where did you start from? I had, I had an amazing childhood. To the you know, I mean, that's what my friends say as well. Uh, born in the central region, Winnie Bar to be precise, same same park. You know, mm -hmm. they're okay. okay. fun people. Yeah. yeah. You know, Abuachi people. I have a Winnie Bar name as well. Which mm -hmm. is? Nei Gate. You are something <laughs> else. I was, thinking, I was named after the um, chief of Winnie Bar. I never got to meet him, but, you know, okay. I, I was named after and him. And that's Nei Gate. Nei Gate. Okay. Yeah, Nei Gate in, in 78. Um, you know how people in the security services travel very often yeah. when they are uh, transform, that, yeah. transform mm -hmm. fed from yeah. Winnie Bar to Kumase. And then we came to Accra in, I think, 1981. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, lived around cantonments. Um, started school at Jack and Jill in mm -hmm. Roman Ridge. Um, my father kept moving around. Then he became the head of um, um, the James Falls Prison. Mm. Um, okay, had to move closer. So I went to a school called Royal Preparatory in Osu, okay. which wasn't too far from home because we mm. lived next to um, the state house in, in, um, in Ridge. Um, from there, I was in class with one of your favorites here at City, um, Kokui. We did like a year okay. at Okay, um, great. Uh, and MC. Yeah. <laughs> I see there. I see there. <laughs> yeah, he's going with Paco. Ha. That was my senior. Paco was your senior. <laughs> so, so Paco, Listen, Paco, Paco, Paco is... was the coolest guy in school. <laughs> Forget Paco, it. Paco, can you cancel people's no, scenes? He still is. He still is. No, you should walk up because we want to see who you're talking yeah. about. The people yeah. do yeah. not yeah. know. Those of you who know Paco, so, like Delphi Paco. Delphi in the building. <laughs> 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 right, so Papa has to go because Papa is the one behind yeah. the camera. Thank you very yeah, much, Papa. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was my senior, you know, I, um, when we went to this school. It was actually one of the coolest schools in Ghana. Mm. Like, when I look back, it's one place that I had a lot of fun because... Uh, even though it wasn't a music school, we had a lot of creatives there. Yeah. Okay. Like Paco, everything he does here. Um, Jackie Apia for everything he da uh, she does. You know, Zeal of VIP, Lazy. Yeah. He also went to Harvard as well. Okay. And then Nananong, um, Sydney. I Sydney. think Sydney came yeah. there as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. John Jermaine! Oh, wow. really? I think John Jermaine was my mate or... Yeah, he was my mate. The Supremo. Yeah, exactly. The Supremo. Wow. Su su Supremo. Wow. Yeah. So um, we had a great time there. And um, my mom thought I was having... You know, too much fun. Too much fun. Because <laughs> in, in any space that you, you put me, mm. I try to make it fun for myself. Yeah. Okay. I've always been like that. Yeah. You know, as a little boy, 
playing with my friends, I could yeah. gather them and you know just start playing grand and teaching them like yeah. sing in this way. Mm -hmm. If we're not doing that, you know, we're probably marching and I'm commanding mm. the, the parade, <laughs> right. stuff like that. Yeah. So my mom would look at me and go like, yo, this child of mine is definitely going to end up in the arts. And you know what it was yeah. like. Mm -hmm. I'm sure yeah. some parents are still like that yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. They want their children to do a lot more academic work and exactly, yeah. very little of um, mm -hmm. creative, creative stuff. stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's what I wanted to become. Mm. Went to um, you know, Nifa Secondary School. Was okay. that intermittently whenever I was on vacation. Uh, my mom's related to a musician, undoubtedly one of the finest we have in this country, Daddy Lumba. So, on oh, vacation, oh. yes, from Mampong. I should have met so, your mom. On vacations, I'd go to Lumba shop, uh, mm. in Okaishi, yes, and sell cassettes and CDs. Mm. <laughs> then, um, despite it wasn't as cool as it is now, you mm -hmm. know, he was still, yeah. it was yeah. imagine working very hard together yeah. with Father <laughs> Dixon. So, when we're done selling our music, the cassettes and CDs during the day, we account to them at the end of the day. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been a long road. And that's when I met people like Charles Amoa. Mm. Yeah. Um, he had a studio called Cage in uh, Awudome. Mm. Met people like Felix Ousu, Two wow. Daddy Luma. I met wow. all the cool wow. musicians wow. like back then. Um, started working on radio, Radio Gold, when I was 18 years. Mm. You know, wow. right after secondary school, mm. doing my like, well, A levels, that, that was yeah. it for me. Oh, you've been in the space yeah. all your life. I was, I was, I was 18 when I started. In okay. actual fact, before that, I was a production assistant on TV as well. Mm. Which GBC, station? GBC. Um, okay. um, when KKD had KKD 45. Okay. I was a production assistant. And um, that's what actually got me into that. Mm. And um, seeing the birth of Sunshine Radio, which later became Choice FM, mm -hmm. and now Kasapa, the same yeah, frequency of 102.3, mm. I was one of those who hired was part of the team that hired everyone that came to join mm. wow yeah did, did you land in this space accidentally or it was a i mean listening thing? to everything that i've said from my I, childhood I, yeah it, i get it, it but it could have been an accident full time broadcasting. yeah i think i always wanted to do something in mm. it wasn't necessarily broadcasting i, I knew i was just going to be someone in the performing arts yeah. either i was going to perform as a, be a musician um be a painter because i paint as well mm. i mean i, I was an a fine art student, mm. you know, I was going to paint, but my mom would say, Now, nah, painting the old paint here, the past ain't better. Yeah. <laughs> How long would it take you to yeah. finish one? And you know, yeah. she didn't even think about the worth of one painting and how much yeah. one could make well i'm sure you wouldn't blame yeah, her no, back then her. she you wanted know. you to get paid of at the course, end of every month of course so she would have a peace of mind as, as well <laughs> yeah and um yeah. so during the time now um i can pick from yes. what you've said yes. the music background yeah. mm -hmm. so it's either you were going to be a musician yourself yes. or can my, my mom had a bar or something my mom like that? had a bar and yeah. as a youngster there were times i'd stand in front of the bar and perform for everyone oh wow i was that child i was the soul of the area mm, the yeah, neighborhood at yeah. ridge um, if there was a party and it had to be let, I had to be there to perform. And that hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. At all. <laughs> I was the only child in my area who had the whole Michael Jackson costume. Oh, wow. Yeah, I did. Wow. Yeah, so and you still, I, you yeah, still have it. Yeah, yeah, still have it. Stuff <laughs> like that, you know. So. So, 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 does that mean that back then fashion mm -hmm. also was part of everything you were doing? That, were you particular about that? It, it, mm. Yeah, I was that little boy who would change like three times a day. Mm -hmm. And my daughter, my little daughter is like that, Nanae Free. She, okay. she does, she's pretty. Yeah, she does a lot of things like I did in my, <laughs> my childhood. There are times that mom would say, Come on here, Tomo Papa. We'll finally be Tomo. You know, like you're doing things like your dad. You think you picked it from like, your mom or from know, your no, dad? No, 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 no. I mean, it's entirely for me. Mm. You know, there are times when they're mischievous. I, I just look at them quietly and just say to myself, Oh. The young child I when I was growing. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned that you were doing something when um, KKD was on. Yes, he had a show called KKD 45 yes. yeah, on GBC. Are you related by our blood? Fathers, our fathers, um, well, KKD's mom and my dad are from the same place. And his Adanse. dad, Adanse, we're all from Adanse. Yeah. They migrated from Adanse to Accra in the late 50s. Okay. And you know where we come from? We're Ashantis. We don't yes. even draw lines. No. Exactly. No, we don't, we don't draw lines. No. Okay. He's my brother. I mean, so, there's not been a day or any event in his family that mine was never around. Mm. Okay. If decisions have be to have to be taken mm. uh, as a family, they are there. Mm. <laughs> if it has to happen at my end, mm. they are there as well. So we, we don't even draw lines. Yeah. Wow. Did he have wow. any influence on you? Oh, definitely. Um, after my O levels, I didn't do too well in, in math because uh, as an art student, I thought, oh, Charlie, once I get my reading subjects going, yeah. I don't have to focus on any yeah. calculations <laughs> or whatever. And my dad knew very well that he's someone I looked up to. Mm. So um, one day he was summoned home. Like, the results not bad, but the math not 
<laughs> and Chrissy was, you know, to the days he still tries to be very strict yeah. okay. towards me. But he was that amazing person who just wanted me to get things right. And he, mm. he called me, he was like, okay, coffee, you're going to be around in my space all the time. And I was. And I want to make sure you get this right. Mm. So from someone who had like nine in O levels, mm -hmm. at O levels, like for mm. math, I came out with a two much later. Wow. wow. I don't even Impressive. know how I did it, but wow. I, I didn't have to impress myself. Mm -hmm. I, had to, I had to impress him and my exactly. mom especially, yeah. who was not too much in favor of all the things I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So it was more of, okay, get your grades right and become whatever you want. Must have been a great yeah. feeling. You know, yeah. you know yeah. there, there was issues in the media. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm not really going to go deep nah. into it. Yeah. But how is your relationship with KKD well, like? Listen, man, I mean, how can you try and mess up a family? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. I think one of the unfortunate things that happened, and it's happened to quite a number of people, not just people in families, within families, but when there are issues and people decide not to sit down and amicably resolve it, yeah. and it gets into the public domain. Charlie, mm. the truth is, bloggers, TV stations, radio stations, they don't really care about you. Exactly. Yeah. They're only looking yeah. out for news. Uh -huh. yeah. That's it. So there are times, as, as people, we, 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 we fail to recognize that and mm -hmm. deal with situations amongst ourselves and somehow it gets into the public domain but i mean we're cool i'm sure you've seen some of the pictures mm -hmm. after um mm -hmm. this event his yeah. mom turned um 80 i was there mm -hmm. i was the host you know um his younger sister beautiful um marianne who's the um head of markets in that african region turned 40 last year mm -hmm. okay. when things go a bit cool yeah. during COVID. And as a family, we're all there to celebrate. That's that's who we are. I'm also. glad to hear yeah. that. Well, you've always been within the music space. Mm. I mean, you have mm. done some music. Yeah. Also. But did you know or did you ever plan deliberately to go into music management? I think that happened by accident. Mm. When I was, um, you know, still occasionally living with Lumba, mm. um, he decided to record quite a number of musicians. And I, I met quite a number of them to him. Mm. And Ophorian Ponsa was one of such people. I think it was in 1989 when they recorded the, um, the first duet. Yeah. They did a joint yeah. album. Yeah. 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 I think it was released before um, Abinwa, yeah. mm -hmm. that album that had yeah. the red gold ring with yeah. Ophorian Ponsa yeah. and Daddy Lumba. And after that, um, it was just meant essentially to introduce Ophorian and put him out there in the public domain. Once that was done, he had to be on his own because that's yeah. what Luma did for a lot of people, mm -hmm. including Felix Ousu, some I don't even Obia uh, Bayo if you are for yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. It was always yeah. I'm recording that single with you or that mm -hmm. one album with you, yeah. setting the pace for you and then, and then take then off from there. Wow. Yeah. So once he was done with the Fori, he was done. But he didn't know where yeah. to go, <laughs> anywhere to go. You know, I know Kofi from Lumba Space. Mm -hmm. I was already working on radio. I was very well connected, having people like Andy Dusty doing their own thing oh, in Kumasi. Yeah. Yeah. I was in a we'll crowd. Take care yeah, well, yeah, yeah, we'll take care of that one. <laughs> I was very close with Marco Kwekumanti. We were working mm -hmm. on things like Slip Music and right. Dasebra and discovering right. all these great talents like Lord King and the rest of them. So why not? He thought I was the best person. Mm -hmm. I had a guy from the Volta region called Fred Niyama, who's mm -hmm. also from Adansi, a bit of Volta, a bit of Adansi, okay. who would take care of the music business mm -hmm. in that area yeah. so well we started working so for example so I was the first person and then we found um Kofi B late great Kofi B mm -hmm. and we recorded his first um um single Mobra was the first yeah. song we re recorded okay. with um Zap Mallet um so then you know we started growing yeah. that's the yeah. great Jamina at some point mm -hmm. coming to work with Fred and I and um that was it much what, later what was the journey like for you um I never saw that as work. Okay. Yeah. And for quite a number of people in the creative space, I'm sure we can all testify to mm -hmm. this. Once you're getting into it, you're not so much into the money aspect yeah. of it. You it's go more with the passion. Yeah, the passion. Yeah. And then you get paid. I, 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 and saying this, if you see me ever on any musical platform performing or working with any musician, maybe mm -hmm. hosting their events, there's not, been, there's not been a single time that I've charged any musician to, oh, wow. Wow. to host them. Never. Oh, wow. So later on, you also um, yeah. did an event that brought Wuta yes. and um, mm -hmm. That was um, Nescafe African Revelations. Yes, it yes. was um, an event that uh, had the aim of discovering fresh music talents, not just in Ghana, but um, Western Central Africa. Mm. So we did Ghana, certain countries, um, Abidjan, going to um, um, Senegal, Cameroon, like different mm. countries, you know, to find fresh music talents yeah. but mm. Ghana was more of the headquarters mm. and um, there was a show on TV called Nescafe Half Hour mm -hmm. I was the host of that yeah. 
I was part of the production team working with Abraham Mohini Jan and um, you know the guys at OM Studios together with Tuchi Goka mm -hmm. and um, you know so we would go from region to region yeah. looking out for fresh talents and when prior one because of my um, involvement and already existence in the music industry and also on radio mm -hmm. and with my connects you know on the ground yeah. we thought why not I mean you've managed all these great musicians in the past why don't you take on prior as well yeah. So I managed prior for a year or two, and Wuta didn't win. They were the first runners up. Okay. Yeah. So like, how do you let these guys go? Yeah. You know, so we added Wuta as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did some amazing job. Yeah. At the yeah. point where we've been thinking of merging prior oh, and wow. Wuta. Wuta. I think we had a name like Wupra or something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That would have been I think there was team. one event, I think it was the launch of Ghana Musical was probably in 19, 2000 and and five or six mm -hmm. and Wuta and Prior did a joint performance wow. Wow. At, the, at the Golden Shoe. That, that would have been great to yeah, see. I yeah, mean, yeah, all five yeah. of them. Oh, yes. And one song. Yeah. 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 Wow. That would have yeah. been beautiful. Was, 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 was and I'm sure beautiful. they made you proud. Oh, yeah. Made always. You proud. Always. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I had a great time. Um, one of my, my biggest regrets in, in doing music, and I think it's the demotivation. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons I never decided to do music going forward. When Wuta fell out, mm -hmm. yeah. I was really heartbroken. I wow. can imagine. You know, I, I could see how far they could go. Yeah. And there were quite a number of musicians who always worked in my space. My mm -hmm. house was like like this studio. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Samin is coming through, Kamina Kamina is there, yeah. Black Prophet is there, you know, we're just but, hanging but, but around. Kofi, and then, what, what exactly happened between Wuta? Was it money? Was it women? It was, what, what it wasn't happened? money, it wasn't women. It was so just more was I think it was work attitude. Mm. Yeah, really? it was work attitude. Yeah, yeah one person attitude. wasn't happy with you know, the other person's attitude. One of the things with it, you know how musicians record their records in Ghana? Yeah. They would go themselves and look for money. Yeah. But in the case of Wuta, that never happened. They didn't have to spend their own personal money to go to the studio. Mm. Oh, okay. I financed that. Okay. Wow. So I paid for maybe um, a studio session at Apietus or Zap Mallet. Mm. And one person shows up and the other person doesn't show up. Yeah. That kind of thing. And then that was like, why well, am I always the one here? Yeah. You know, Who's getting the things one? done. If he is the stubborn one. Yeah, he, he, he is the stubborn one. <laughs> but to one felt that that was dragging the so, other. Um, yeah. um, Kobe felt, Charlie, always it be me for go do interview. My brother no one come. That kind of mm. thing. And um, uh, after they had that deal with um, Glow, they thought it was okay for them to be on their own. But I knew things would take a nosedive if they yeah. fell out. Yeah. yeah. Because... They were individually very talented, mm. but put together, they were amazing. Super. And we had a way of working. I didn't know if they knew my plan. They mm. always had the highest nominations at the Ghana Music yeah. Awards. Do you know why? We had a way of recording like an eclectic album. Mm. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Mm. So they are getting nominations in no, reggae. Oh, the yeah. only area that they never got one was mm. gospel, gospel. Because those yeah. guys, they don't allow <laughs> to anyone into their no. space. Yeah. No, if you're not noted mm -hmm. um, as a gospel artist, now nah, they, they, they won't yeah. allow you into that space. Yeah. So let me ask you this. I mean, from where you said, having yeah. managed all these mm -hmm. talents, mm -hmm. groups yeah. and individual acts. Yeah. I mean, we've seen groups split yeah. and then that's it. Mm -hmm. No stuff. They mm -hmm. don't come back yes. up. I mean, what what do you think is the problem? We've seen some groups that have still stayed together and are still making heads like R2Bs. R2Bs. I mean, they go on their own Listen, solo projects know, and then they come back and do how they do it. I think it's stuff. more of looking at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also not putting yourself first. Okay. I, I, one of the things I told Wuta back then was, and I told Pai the same mm -hmm. thing, that you don't even have to be friends. Yeah. Let's look at, let's see it as, as the business aspect. a business. Yeah. Something that we, we do for a living. Mm. And also knowing that we're getting paid for doing this. Yeah. So you don't have to be my friend. Yeah. Exactly. Let's get into the studio. Let's work. At the end of the day, do we get paid? Yes. yes. So that's it. Problem solved. Yeah, problem solved. <laughs> Kofi, you know, we, we in recent times have been comparing Ghana music industry mm. to um, Nigeria. Right. We won't even go far. Yeah. Mm. What is it that we are not doing right? Because I think that we have amazing musicians. They are very talented. Oh, yeah, so what exactly, why are we not breaking through like our Nigerian brothers are doing? We're broke. Mm -hmm. Is it money or is it <laughs> talent is or attitude? Ta I mean, look, attitude is one of them, but essentially we're broke. We, we don't have money. Really? Yeah, we don't. we don't. So you think money can make it, the it, difference? It makes everything. Mm. Like, how many times do you see Nigerian acts in Ghana trying to promote their yeah, own records, yeah. like albums and singles, like going around all the radio stations, we mm. open all the doors for them. Mm -hmm. How many times have you seen our acts or musicians doing the same thing in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Mm. We don't think, do so much until yeah, recently I mean, that we saw Jackie yeah, just yeah. plug in Jackie Nigeria. And then, um, yeah. Stone Boy, a yeah, few Stone people Boy. had done it in the past, like yeah. Tic Tac and um, mm -hmm. um, um, VIP. Yeah. But if you look at 
our music industry right from um, post mm. independence from E.T. Mensa through to um, O.C.B. they were on a, another level. But yeah. people like Nana Tufo, your name yeah. it was the keyboardist <laughs> for um, King Sonia Day mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, E.T. Mensa did his thing with some of the music greats in Nigeria. Um, there was another guy who later became a music guy, president and also general manager at Joe Mensa. Okay. Joe Mensa lived in Nigeria. You, you know, Joe's uh -huh. yeah. person is just yeah. like fella. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they were great friends. And our, influ our music, our highlight music, mm. influenced Google fella right now. Of like course. the first thing, you won't see anything connected to Afrobeat. No, it's highlight, highlight first. Yes. Highlight, yeah. No, that hasn't then even changed. Highlight yeah. first, and then jazz and what have you. Yeah, yeah. Even up to today. Exactly. Yeah. Ghana you know, music so, is really influencing yeah, exactly. Nigerian music. Yeah, music has yeah. always have an influence on, on them. But the new guys, I have to say, we have some very hungry guys here mm -hmm. who also want to make it. But they put in an extra effort and there's money to back it. Yeah. They, they, they have that godfather thing in Nigeria. Yeah. Something yeah. we really lack in Ghana. Mm. I mean, some will just say, um, because of everything you've done over the years and how prominent you've been in the music space, they don't have to have any relationship with you. It's your birthday. Come on. Send Frema a car. Like, what? Yeah. Can, can you hear him? Can you hear him? <laughs> how many Eugene recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Dr. 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 Exactly. We, yeah. we, how many times have we seen that? No. And we have very prominent Ghanaians, you know? Yeah. The yeah, only time they invite you is when they're having their end of year party. Can you imagine? Gala at work and then yeah. they invite you to come and perform where they pay you something and they even think they're paying you so much. They're yeah. doing you a favor. Yeah, they're doing you a favor. <laughs> Our big men in Ghana support the arts. Well, you heard People, the support uh, the arts. I mean, <laughs> Shirley Frimpo Manso wants to produce a movie. Mm -hmm. She needs a beautiful house to work from. But every mm -hmm. rich man, they try hide. But why do we do that? 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 Exactly. If it is still to build, come on, open it up. Yeah. Why? What are yeah. we afraid of? That the and armed robbers? Listen, what, what is the problem? I, I would watch... So that's part of it, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Security, yeah. 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 security, but every big man in Ghana should have their own sort of, of security. Course. Yeah. Come on, they they can't afford I mean, it, so. are we are we worse than Nigeria in terms of? Oh, we're not. Exactly, yeah. they, they have. They are there. Yeah, but they, but open, they open up, up yeah, their houses. Open up their houses. The they allow um, yeah. people in the creative industry to mm. to to work from them. They actually fund and and manage them. When mm. they love to Glow, flaunt for their instance, wealth, came to yeah, they love to. Yeah. I, I want to give credit to people like Chief um, Dele Momodo of mm. Ovation International yeah. for what he, he brought to Ghana, the Ovation magazine. Mm -hmm. We saw how Nigerians live, you know, um, showing off their parties, yeah. their, yeah. the grand opening of their mm -hmm. palaces exactly. in that magazine. And Ghanians, but Ago was trying to do that. Ago was doing something close. I mean, Ovation mm -hmm. is so on. But then again, yeah. I mean, people would want to... What held mag the, those two magazines was the fact that, you know, typically people don't like reading. So, so, so they get more pictures, pictures yeah. you know? You know, a little caption and more pictures. And, yeah. and, but then again, it, it needs to be sponsored. Yeah, Once we have much. people buying... Um, spots in those mm -hmm. newspapers or yeah, those magazines, then you know they're sustainable. I'm sure it's one of the reasons um, I goes not around. But mm. we'll um, let's do something about it. Let's get our <laughs> rich should. people out we there. Should. Support the creative industry. There are people who are saying government for support, government for support. It's not like that elsewhere. No, because yeah. I also think that yeah. you know sometimes there might be companies who probably would want to support. Mm -hmm. Yes. But just like we are talking about Ovation, mm -hmm. Ovation is there. People are patronizing yeah. these magazines, yeah. and so if you throw in an ad there, right. you are getting mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. know your stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. but what do we have if yeah. somebody wants to even support yeah. what happens yeah. you know so yeah. if you don't have maybe a tv station or like yeah. doctor or tang is doing yeah. that your works will be seen yeah. who's going to talk yeah. about you yeah. Yeah. So yeah. anyway let's, let's support our own when you were starting <laughs> yes. you said that mm -hmm. you are down to earth Yes, you know, I, so. I mean, this is me, a very gentle person, mm -hmm. a very calm person. Mm -hmm. But is that what everybody thinks about you? No, no, don't answer me yet. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, we'll <laughs> okay. find out we'll take soon. your thoughts after this. Right. Hi, Keldy, are you there? <laughs> okay. Um, I would say three things. Okay. I would say Keldy, I would call Kofi. It's a bit emotional. A lot of people don't know, but very, very emotional, especially when it's got to do with her daughters, family, especially that kind of connection she had with her mom. Very emotional. She's a very emotional person. And uh, because of the radio, 
people feel that he he talks a lot, but he doesn't at all. He to, he's totally a different person when he's at home. He talks less and uh, a little bit shy too. That I think a lot of people don't know, but he is shy. And the last thing I would say, he would give you a very long rope. Like you could do all sorts of nonsense. Like he doesn't really care. But if this dude decides that, okay, I'm taking you out of my books, that is it. It doesn't mean that he hasn't forgiven you, but then going back into his books. So I think basically that is what I can say and his favorite food that he can not favorite what he can cook in the kitchen is in kati cake so that's the only thing i've seen him doing at the kitchen in kati cake and he stares food on the on the oven yeah so sure. on the gas or on the on the or in, at the kitchen he was just staring but he doesn't spend so much time in the kitchen yeah so that's it. All right. So the woman who just spoke is KOD's um, sister-in-law. Yeah, that's yeah. Velma of Velma <laughs> Accessories. Kofi, so, so Velma says that you are emotional yeah, and you I are am. shy. I am. I mean, those are the bits that you have to be very close to know. Mm. And I'm even surprised, you know, she has all this information. <laughs> Velma and I are very close, super yeah. close. She's, um, apart from being my sister-in-law, we share a common birthday yes. as well. And okay. the two of us... We like a few things, some things in common, like mm. music. Mm. Verma likes to dress up as well, if you follow her yes, on social yes, media, yes. apart from yeah. being um, well, the leading um, fashion accessory designer in, in Ghana. But yeah. Yeah, I love her down to bits. Yeah. Are you emotional? Cake? Yes, like I have tears in your eye. <laughs> then Kathy Cake bits. Then Cake. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, that's one of the things I learned from my mother's kitchen. Okay. Mm. Yeah, but mm. being the last, you know, with all these yeah. women around, I didn't yeah. have to spend any time in the kitchen. Yeah. Mm. But because I like my Nkati cake, yeah. Nkati cake, I'd go there and prepare myself. Awesome. On that Nkati awesome. cake note, right. we'll still be right back. Kofi, I, I, I say this to you all the time. And, um, it's not new. It's not going to be the first time that you hear this, but you are my person today, tomorrow, and forever. You will forever remain my my person you you are the one who gave me my first hand training if i can call it that way um in radio i had no expertise at all i had no, i had zero knowledge when i started radio but the way you taught me even during the silent lessons is what has brought me here today kofi is a great teacher um, a few times shouted on me, not and it happened because he was also frustrated with the situation around. Um, so I don't blame him at all, but Kofi is the patient teacher. He will teach you. I remember there are days that I pronounce certain words wrongly on the radio, and he won't even say anything. After the show or the next morning, before we get on, then he'll just call you on the side and go like, you a killer. This thing. You didn't say it well. This is how you say it. This is what you do. This is what you do. And then I'm like, oh, thank you. And then he would equip you that day or, or with it. And you come sitting on radio sounding very, very confident. So I'll call Kofi my teacher any day. Now, apart from being a teacher, Kofi is a great friend. So I ask him every time. You are friends with everybody, but is everybody friends with you? And Kofi will say, I don't mind if nobody's friends with me. So long as I'm friends with everybody, it's okay. That's how selfless Kofi is. No matter how tired, no matter how stressful it is for Kofi, he will show up at that engagement, at that funeral, at that party, at that get-together, just for you to know exactly what you mean to Kofi. And the question I always ask is, do you even sleep at all? Kofi won't sleep if he has to make you happy. If he has to show up at that event just to make sure that you feel loved, Kofi will show up for you all the time. And I don't know who has a problem with Kofi. I will say who has a problem with him because um, I don't see him having a problem with anybody. If Kofi has a problem with you, then it is for all the genuine reasons in in, in in the world, but that's how open he is. You do something, he doesn't like it, he will come and talk to you about it. If you don't like it and you don't agree, well, you can move on, but at least he's told you his mind. So that's who Kofi is to me. He has many, 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 many things that I cannot put in words, but amazing is an understatement. If there was another word to describe Kofi that exists in our dictionaries, I'll use it to describe Kofi, but Kofi is just timeless, if I can put it out.
Uh, everybody knows that KOD is a Rastafari at heart. Everybody knows, even though he doesn't have dreadlocks. But did you know that KOD has never tasted weed before? Never, ever. Did you know? No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. Welcome to your Rasta, man. I, I like my reggae music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I listen... I think a country like South Africa was emancipated not just because people were going out on the streets and mm. fighting. Songs like what Lucky Dubey had, songs like what Bob Marley recorded for yeah. Zimbabwe in, I think, 1981, yeah. were songs about liberating, it wasn't about a country, yeah. liberating the black race. And I'm an encromised mm. with no apology. <laughs> hey, hey, with no apology, you know. So, um, I think based on that, I can always relate to yeah. um, the messages mm. um, they put out. In, in but have you tasted that, weed before? Maybe a couple of times. Oh, cookie! Yeah. Mm. How many times? Oh, no, not really. I mean, not, not just something. For like, reasons, yeah, just for sugary reasons. Yeah, just for sugary reasons. Of maybe course. They're there with the guys and then Charlie <laughs> Chimba could be that kind of thing. But it's not the kind of thing I'd get up any day and yeah. crave for. No. Okay. No. Yeah. Mm. Well, that was cookie's experience. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. People, not everyone knows Freema has an experience with you as well. I was, oh, you know yeah. I was going to ask. I was going to say, like, where is yours? Yeah. No, I, I mean, I'm here with you. So, so um, sometime in 2007, yeah. you know, I was very, very new, you know, to TV. So yes. I just started TV3 and yeah. I was um, in the office one day. I had a call, you know, and it was like, hi, I'm KOD. I was like, okay. whoa, yeah. okay. So I, I was like, okay. so I was like, oh, all right. So how may I help you? Because I really thought that he needed something. He said, are yeah. you in the office? I said, yes. He said, okay, I'm coming. So he came wow. to the office, and I was still asking what you wanted. What yeah. was it? A coverage? Was it some? Because there's coverage. somebody I don't know. You know, I admire him from afar, and yeah. he is calling me. So it just had to be work. And then he comes over and says, well, I think you are doing well, and I like you. So I just came to say hello to you. Oh, great. Nana. You know, uh, I didn't want to Nana, my like, uh, JJC sister had come from Kumase, uh -huh. you know, and come on, you know, our scientific for yeah. like what I was saying about thinking is that, yeah, 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 like yeah. Our, yeah. 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 when we own our yes, own, yes. One, once one of ours is in Accra, Chalea, yeah. and we have to take care of her, yeah. and you know, you've been doing great, or you were doing great, you have <laughs> yeah. started on, on TV doing your own thing, mm. why not, you needed that yeah. part, and also know that you have family that look out for you and i'll forever remain yeah. his yeah. own yeah. america in the I know. Yes, I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> all right people we're gonna go for a quick break when we come back we have more with the man kod remember the show is brought to you by vodafone together we can we do that. city tv is live on DSTV, go to channel 363. On GoTV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free to air digital box like the GoTV and Star Times box. City TV. It's your world. You welcome back. This is the Upside Down Show on City TV. Our guest in the seat is Kofi Ochoa for KOD. Now, later on, after your broadcasting staff, music management staff, then we saw 1957. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't really surprised because yeah. you know how our Kumasi brothers do it. I know that you mentioned earlier that when you were growing up, right. you were very particular yeah, right. about all these mm -hmm. things. Why did you decide to now go into fashion business? Okay, so um, <laughs> going back a bit, I think I was about 16 years when I was done with my O-levels. And once you're done, you have a bit of a window yeah. staying at home and waiting for your results. And I thought in that time that, ah, Charlie, why are you going to sew? Because yeah. whenever I went to any tailor, I wanted things done in a specific way for me. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to make them myself. I mean, I was one of those who had my own name monogrammed on my shirt. So I'd sit wow. down, you yeah. know, write my name, my initials with my, a pencil and then, you know, stitch it. Needlework. So I thought, why not? Let me um, learn to do it. I never did. Mm. 
and then many years later when Kwekuti was it's a Kwekuti was actually he? he's around when Kwekuti was going into the Big Brother house you know <laughs> Kweku called me and went like Charlie I did go Big Brother but you know I won't make you sew something for me and I'd had an experience working closely with people like um, the late great Kofi Ansa, mm -hmm. spending time with him in yeah. the studio. Whenever he would make something for me, uh, Maoli Kofi Okujeto, um, Kofi T would, mm. Kofi Kofi would make the slippers. shoes for me. Yeah. Yeah. And occasionally, in actual fact, I think Kofi T has made something like this for me before. Okay. Yeah. But then, but you this know, is 1957. This is yeah. 1957. Yeah, he used to make a lot of stuff like yeah, this. Exactly. Yeah. And um, so after that experience with um, um, Kweku T, Many years later, when I got married to my wife, and also mm -hmm. knowing how prominent I am yeah. in the TV fashion space, mm -hmm. I mean, there's not been a single time that I did any show on TV or hosted a show, a show on like a produced show, mm -hmm. an event, and they would go like go to this designer yeah. for clothes. Mm -hmm. It's never happened before. How is that to wear my own things? Yeah, yeah awesome. there was never. Awesome. There's awesome. never been someone to costume me. So my mm -hmm. wife was like, Ah, Charlie, by you, you are an artist. First of all, you don't even need anyone to sketch for you. You can do that yourself. You always have. I'll play a role for you. Mm -hmm. Because you're not trained in fashion, I'll be your director of uh, quality control director. Mm. Okay. So get things put together, you know, do it, and then I'll take care of quality control. So wow. once I got the sketches done, there are people to sew. If things are not done in a, in a good way, she would say, nah, and that's it. So you and were in this already before you yeah, met yeah, Ophelia? Yeah. More or less. Okay. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, but then she decided that we should actually make a business out of it because people like PDD and um, Jay Z, they yeah. own clothing lines, mm -hmm. yeah, they do. but they don't mm -hmm. even sketch like I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. the name that promotes the brand. The and brand, she thought, yeah. well, why not? Since you have, um, you know, the name and people look up to you in mm -hmm. terms of what you wear. Does well, it pay? Hey. Read about fashion. I think it's about the second or third most. Um, lucrative industry worldwide. Mm. Do you know why I'm asking this? And it comes this? before it comes before even oil and gas. No, do you know why I'm asking <laughs> why? this? Because of the space we find ourselves in. Mm. Because I've had a lot of complaints right. from um, fashion designers. Mm, yeah. I've had from makeup artists mm. where people would come mm. to you that oh, let's do butter. You know, uh, I've can, never we, can we do that. this? Never. Yeah, I, that's I've what I'm asking. Experienced butter. First of all, Perhaps I think what it is, is the name behind the Yes, the name yeah. and also identifying your potential clientele. Mm. Yeah, my potential clientele or those I work for mm. are middle class up. Yeah. Right. If you see a 1957 t-shirt or, or a polo shirt, it's because somehow I want it, I want the brand to be seen around. Yeah. But it's not because my focus is on a polo shirt or a t-shirt. Mm. Not at all. And you gave me a polo shirt. Because I don't really make for women. Okay. I make, <laughs> I, I make, wear men's stuff. Yeah, I make, yeah, you do? I do. Mm. Ah, mm -hmm. I didn't know. Like a shirt. That would yeah. actually look good. Of course. You know, so I thought, if you walk into the shop and you can't afford anything, you should be able to go home in a 1970 t-shirt or yeah. a polo shirt. Yeah. So I thought, well, have a t-shirt. That's very much. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <It's> beautiful. <laughs> you know, in my 1957. A, yes, exactly. Have a mm -hmm. polo shirt or t-shirt form. But then entirely, my target market is middle up. Mm. And I know everyone. Yeah. Of, oh, don't yeah. you? <laughs> I know everyone, so, so, so that's not a problem. You've done um, radio how many broadcasts, yeah, how did, many years? I did radio for 24 years. Wow. 24 years. Yes. So you're not on radio anymore? No, no, no. I'm I trying to subtract last year. mine mm. from yours. And I'm that was a okay. little right. bit. So, <laughs> so you, you've had a beautiful journey <laughs> career-wise. Yeah, you've yeah, had yeah. a lot of um, angles. Yeah. It's, it's, you know? it's, it's I mean, it's part of life. The curves and the ramps are all part of it. But where are you heading to? Um, well, I will say something that we're working on, like, you know, in the background. Okay, so, um, we're, we're building a place. Okay. Right now, and essentially, it's going to be the kind of place that would have a little bit of 19, if you visited us at the shop, mm -hmm. it's a bit of everything. It's a family yeah. entity, mm -hmm. but we're, we're building a new place for that same kind of thing. Okay. We're also looking at having a school in future. It's part of the things we're, we're, oh, we're, we're looking okay. at doing. We have the land already. Mm -hmm. Um, we're just looking for funding to get it done. Okay. Yeah. You see, funding, yeah, funding. Oh, funding. Yeah, <laughs> People, funding are they have the money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so in terms of 
there are young people who need to be empowered. Yeah. I, if you follow me on, on social media, you know how passionate I am about yeah. Yeah. these youngsters we have on the streets. And people would go like, ah, but these kiddies on the street, they are not from Ghana. No. Once they are in this space, we have a responsibility towards yeah. them. It's either we're sending their families, um, their parents, and these children back to wherever they came from, or we take care of them. Sure. So I am looking at, um, you know, having an institution, a fashion institution, mm -hmm. that's part of our, the future plan. Mm -hmm. But right now we're building a place for, uh, not just 1957, but for Velma as well, my sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. Like a family place yeah. where you walk in. Because my wife started making pastries. Yes, my, I saw that. Like, Listen, she's like the coolest. I should be tested. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, send you, we'll send you some. And um, so we'll have like a coffee shop, mm -hmm. a bit of fashion here yeah. and there, you know, a workshop. Maybe we uh, should have a room where we yeah, can just take part of the night, you know. We're going to no, actually, the need that. The last floor is supposed to be. Uh, uh, like, like a party, a, yeah, kind of, like, a, yeah. I mean, like a place that people can because you can are a party, that. you know. Yeah, yeah. So in all this, place. where would rhythms on the oh, runway be? Yeah. Rhythms on the runway. As it were, this is, I think, uh, Ohima is 12, so it's our 11th year this year. Mm. And essentially, it started as a family thing, mm -hmm. you know. The birth of Ohima Kids Club. When my daughter mm -hmm. was born, we had a clothing line uh, uh, for children named mm -hmm. after her. So that saw the birth of um, Rhythms on the Runway. We had a runway for children, yeah. mm -hmm. Justin's children, yeah. you know, some of our friends' children, they were all on the runway. And then the following year, we had one for Velma and Ophelia exclusively, mm. just the two of them. So it started as a family thing. Mm. Right. I think we went off for a couple of years. When we came back, 1957 had been born, and we started bringing on other friends. So the idea right now has gone beyond having only Ghanaians on that platform. Last right. year, for instance, we didn't have any of my family members on. In actual fact, I wasn't on as well. I only produced a show for other people, yeah. and that is the vision. Cool. cool. Mm. You know, but, but how badly did COVID hit it? Um, it's amazing how last year went, huh? Yeah. Like, actually, it went very well. Extremely. I yeah. have to say that we, we are indebted to organizations like yours, like mm. City. There's not been a single Rhythms on the Runway without City. Mm. Not one. And wow. um, let me use this opportunity to say a very big thank you. That's why when I'm called to come here, I just ran. Ah. Day for you. Day for you. You know, you did for me. And um, so Rhythms mm. on the Runway, we're planning the next one mm. in November um, in 2017. We had a great one mm. as part of the year of return. Yeah. And uh, it was covered for the BBC. Yeah. They came down to film it and said it was the biggest fashion and musical mm. expose on the continent of Africa. That was a big feather in a cap. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're not looking back. Mm. I think we, we have a video of that. Yes. Uh, I think we, we, we can just take a look at just a little bit of mm. it. So this is Rhythms yeah. on the Runway, yeah. and the amazing brain behind mm. this beautiful mm -hmm. event is our very own yeah. Kofi Ochidaka. I'm, I'm very passionate about Rhythms on the Runway. And, Why? Uh, you know, the fact that it brings music and fashion under <laughs> one roof. And poetry. And poetry. Mm -hmm. You know, like, Every day, It's a night of ours. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there are times when the fashion show is taking place, there's, there are people who have gone out having their paintings, like a uh, yeah. uh, 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 pencil okay. work done uh -huh. for them and stuff like that. It's, it's a total night um out for 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 the creative industry yeah. and you saw some of the models we use on the runway yeah. we don't just use your regular models we use yeah. celebrity models and if we actually the one first people to have started that mm -hmm. you know it says the yeah, yeah. fashion yeah, event yeah. in ghana yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. it's necessary yeah, it's necessary it's necessary, it it's necessary. Yeah. Yeah. you know Kofi, i think that you've done amazing and mm -hmm. we are right. very proud right. of yeah. you yeah. and you're one of the big brothers you mm -hmm. know Mm. in showbiz mm. today, in broadcasting. Right. 
and that we can't take away from yeah. you mm -hmm. and wherever you are that's what i like about mm -hmm. you there's joy you yeah. know yeah it's important there's there's <laughs> fun you know there come right. dull moments with kod <laughs> and that is why for me when you do that you're amazing um mm -hmm. james brown stuff yeah. and that version yeah. you know <laughs> i just love it and so we can't have you here yeah. without you doing something beautiful mm -hmm. like that Ooh, be yeah. in your elements yeah. you know I mean, this was you and oh, no, 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 stage yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so we Very have an amazing band here, Musical right? Lunatics. Okay. So Musical Lunatics, please join us <laughs> um, on stage. Okay. Before they join us, we'll mm -hmm. take a break. So Kofi, just get ready right. with yeah. what you want to do. Okay, already. Mm -hmm. And you ready. take us away. So Let's we'll be do right that. back. Don't go nowhere. This is Fact Finder from the BBC. We live in a world where news travels fast. And sometimes, it's hard to differentiate fact from fiction. Fact Finder brings fact-checking from the newsroom up close so you can separate truth from chaff. Be empowered to tell what's fake from what's real. Watch Fact Finder by the BBC on City TV every Wednesday at 6pm. City TV. It's your world. Welcome back, guys. It's been fun. It's been amazing. It's been very, very interesting. I mean, from broadcasting to fashion to family, we've covered almost everything. To partying. Partying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, KOD is the life yeah. of the party. Of course. Yes. I have seen him perform. You have as well. Several. But I don't know about you. Have you seen him perform? I, I don't think there's <laughs> somebody around who hasn't seen KOD in yeah. his yeah. element in, in one way or the other. No, yeah. but doing his thing on his own for beautiful people like our viewers at home i think is special it's exclusive huh yeah. okay and he, yeah. he, has, he has some some michael jackson you know that tilting forward thing do you trick us with yeah, that? Oh, the trick how, how do you do it yeah i know um so i stand uh -huh. mm -hmm. like i'm falling down yeah, yeah. so like multiple shots are taking. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, people, let's, okay. let's not take any more of your time. We're going to give KOD a microphone and right. he's going to wow us. I like that. Okay, Pass let's right. go. Take it away. Let's go. Um, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. you ready? Right. 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 I feel good. So here I find myself right here inside city. I'm sitting next to two Americans. Let me take it home to Osaikom. Ah! I'm feeling good. I knew that I wouldn't now. I'm feeling good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I knew. Let's do a little bit of Volta, Samenzema, go all the way to the northern part of Ghana, like, ah, I'm very good. I knew that I would now. It's just a vibe. The man is just wow, a vibe. Wow, wow, wow. Why are we no. not surprised? Yeah. Why am I not surprised? Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is KOD. So just in case yeah. you don't know who this guy is, I'm sure we've given you an idea. Mm -hmm. So this is, we're just trying to know him in just one hour. Yeah. So give him 24 hours, you know what he can do. Exactly. Kofi, thank you very much. It's <laughs> been you. awesome been hanging out with here. you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank mm -hmm. you so Tonight. much. Yeah. Thank yes, you. and we know that we're gonna have beautiful parties, you know. Yeah, um, I mean, once it, everything is over, yeah, sure. um, 
you know, we've lost some amazing people as a as a country yes, you know, yes. worldwide. But mm. once we're here, we have life. You know, let's just look forward to greater heights. Awesome. awesome. Greater heights. All awesome. right. So, um, people, thank you very much. Uh, my guest has been Kofi Ochedako, mm -hmm. and the amazing band is Musical, Musical Lunatics. Lunatics. Guys, oh come on, give us some high. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you very much, Nika. You know, for bringing yeah, your band here yeah, yeah. for us. This has been the Upside Down Show, but Kofi is not gone yet mm -hmm. because I know we can have a commercial. American guy no. just come in, do um, I <laughs> feel no, 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 he has to come back home, <laughs> and you are going to be taking yeah. us back home. But before you do that, thank you very much. The show was brought to you by Bonafon Ghana. Together, Together we, can. we can. My name is Premier Binami, and mine is Nanati Kuo. Adios, Kofi. Together, we can.